We're going to look at how to play Match It. Now, Match It at each stage is the middle game of each one. So you've got the three games and then it's the middling of the type of word. The first thing we do is we shuffle the pack. Very important to shuffle it really well. Then when we've shuffled the pack, we deal the cards out. And this game, you can play with two, three or four players. The school boxes, you can play up to six players. We deal the cards out. So we deal out five cards each. And then we place the pack down between the two of us, turn the card over, and, and we have our hand of cards. And we, then we look at what we've got, obviously. Now the whole idea of this particular game is to lose your cards one by one as you go round the table. Now, the first player to play must put down the same colour or the same number and say what the word is. So we're going to find that we put down that, which is ram. I then look at my hand. Now I've got to put down a five, which I haven't got, or a blue, and I have. So I put that one down and I say rag. Now it's a four or a blue. And we go on doing that all the way around the table. If at any stage of the game we can't go, then we've got a choice. We've got a choice. In our hand, we might have a Trugs card, which looks like this. I can use this whenever I like to change the colour. So I'm going to put that down and I'm going to choose the colour black. So I'm choosing the colour I want it to become. So they then go on playing. Any time you can't go and you don't have a drugs card, then I'm afraid what you've got to do is to pick one card up off the pack and then it's the next person to play. The person whose cards go out the first is the winner. And that's the game. Again, what's happening here is that we are interacting socially with a group. We're making eye contact with each other, we're playing, we're laughing, we're winning, we're losing. Actually, what are we doing? We're having fun. But every time we put a card down, we read it. Every time somebody else puts a card down, we can hear what it is. The way the cards are designed is that they're upside down and the right way up. So every time you put a card down, you will always be able to see it. And the other thing too is that in some cases, people who are colorblind might not be able to distinguish the color differences, in which case we've got shapes in the middle of the cards. The most important thing is that everybody should be able to be access these games and enjoy them. When I win, I love it. And when they a child isn't winning, they say, can we play again, can we play again? And I say, well, yes, you can play. I wonder if you're going to beat me this time. It's fun. It's fun. And I can always lose the game if I want. But I don't. <laughs>